All right, welcome to my September Fortnite crew pack review and gameplay video. So as you can see, this is the crew pack, the Burning Wolf, and he only comes with two things. Now I say quote only, but he does have an additional style which we'll cover. But in comparison to previous packs, there's just not a lot here. We don't get a wrap, we don't get a glider, we don't get a loading screen. It's just the pickaxes, the back bling, and the skin. So if we come to the locker here, you can see that he does have two different styles, flames on and flames off. So the skin itself, in my opinion, is amazing. If this were an item shop skin, I bet it would sell tremendously. Look at this, the color scheme I love. There's silver, there's black, and there's this awesome pink. I don't know what it is about pink in Fortnite, but it just looks so smooth, especially coupled with black. Now the highlight for me is the flame. So I don't know why you would want to turn this off, but the flame reminds me of Super Saiyan hair. If you've ever watched Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super, that is what a Super Saiyan's hair looks like, just from the back. I know it's not supposed to be hair, it's supposed to be a flame, but look what they did. I can't help but wonder if they were testing some sort of Super Saiyan hair with this design. Maybe they were trying to replicate the actual Saiyan hair because that's what it looks like to me. Tell me that doesn't look like that. Almost like a Super Saiyan Rosé right there. I love it, but it's intended to be a huge flame inside that mask. It's almost like he doesn't have a soul. It's just a flame right there. Pretty cool, but again, you can turn it off if you want and then it's much less noticeable. So if you don't want to stand out, then that's what you got to do. Now that's the only thing that changes as far as I can tell. Nothing else appears to change when you turn the flame off. So I'll show you both aspects in game. And we've also got the burning fangs. Now these do not have any styles and it looks like some katanas, one's smaller than the other. Now I thought this was just gonna be a single sword, but as you can see, the pickaxes themselves are two blades. So I am very curious what this looks like in game. How can you swing one blade that's smaller than the other and make it look good? I'm not sure. So it does have a nice splash. We'll check that out in game two. Now for a glider, I went with the drift stream, part of the drift set. And likewise, the wrap is part of the drift set as well. So let's see how this looks in game. Hopefully it's worthwhile as a crew pack skin. Let's see. Ooh, so I can already see the flames kicking in. Look at that. I mean, I think that looks awesome. I want to see this at night. Let's see what the drift stream looks like. So I was a little worried that the drift stream wasn't actually black, but it kind of does look black. It's black, gold, and that awesome pink. So tell me that doesn't look smooth. I love that hair. If that's what Super Saiyan skins look like, if and when we get a Dragon Ball Z collab, I'm going to be in heaven. So let's grab some weapons and we'll check out if anything's secretly reactive. All right, so first of all, the wrap didn't really match that well. I think I actually have a wrap that has that same bright pink color scheme. I thought this one did too, but it really doesn't look like it. So that was a flop on my wrap department. So the first thing to note is that the back bling is definitely interactable with the pickaxes. You can see they both pull out, which is awesome. So you can see they kind of cover the left shoulder guard, but when you pull them out, you can clearly see that left shoulder guard and it's kind of illuminated as well. You can see the, how many are there? Three, four, four little dots right there. That is awesome. So this color scheme is amazing. Now, don't worry. I know I'm in the shade. I got yelled at last time because I never did it in the light, but I like to show off the darker aspects first. So check out these pickaxes. Amazing color scheme. I love that pink color. Can't rave about that enough. It does have a gleam right there that shoots up the blade on both sides. Now look at this contrail. If you love that pink color too, you're going to love that. Check that out. So these pickaxes are amazing in my opinion. Now here's the splash effect. Go to my splash wall. Look at that. It's just a shower of that awesome color. I love it. All right, so here we are in the sun, just so everyone can see the difference. Obviously, it's a little less glowful, but it's still pretty sweet. Really enjoy this. So let's spin them around. I just wanted to see if there's any difference in the front of the face with the flame on. So we'll have to see if anything glows. Let me go back in the shade real quick. Hmm, it's tough to tell. So when we shut that flame off, I wanna see if that mouth area and the eye area still light up. You can see the front of him lights up just a little bit there. Pretty cool. Let's see if he's secretly reactive in any way. Let me pop a 50 pot, see if anything happens. Be cool if his hair got larger every elimination or something. 
I doubt it, but we'll see. No, nope, nothing won. We're gonna try three. Ooh, one shot. Nothing on two. Let's get a pickaxe in. Nope, nothing doing there. Pretty sweet though, I love this. So let's turn the flame off and see if there's a huge difference. All right, here we go with flame off and I turned it to nighttime. So we can see if there's anything glowing on the front a little better. Still looks good with the drift stream. Now I did change the wrap to the dark angular shift, which I think is pink just like this. We'll see here. All right, that's a little better for the wrap. Still not quite the pink that I was looking for. This is more purple in color. Someone let me know, what's a good wrap for this? I know there's one that has this same color pink. I just can't remember what the heck it was. I thought it was one of Drift's, but I couldn't find it. So even with the flame off, you can see that now the back of the head still illuminates just a little bit. It looks like the back of the ears and some weird symbols on the back of his head. Well, they're not really symbols, but I'm not sure what those are supposed to represent. Let's spin around. Yeah, so the mouth still lights up, and the nose piece still lights up, and the chest plate still lights up. So even if you want to be low key, he still has a little bit of illumination on him. Still, I think this is one of the best crew pack skins. Even though we didn't get a lot in the pack, it looks incredible to me. I love the pickaxes. The different lengths are strangely satisfying. The contrail's amazing. The splash effect's amazing. It's not too bright. And at the same time, there's also an option to make it a little brighter with the flames on. I like it. Just incredible. And this is a male skin, which I usually don't favor. I usually prefer the female skins. So I, for one, am impressed. I rate this 9 out of 10. Now, a lot of people will probably disagree. But if you do, let me know in the comments what you dislike about this. Is it just because we didn't get as many items? Or is there something wrong with the skin itself? Because this is like a drift Super Saiyan, in my opinion. Especially with the flames on. I love it. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.